Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how best to optimize all of the features you need in your Zoom Pro Level account in order to host a successful online alpha. To start, you will need to make sure that you have a paid account with Zoom, at least a Pro Level or higher. Let's get started. Go ahead and sign into your account. And once you're signed in, you should be taken to a page that looks something like this. Before we get started scheduling our meeting, we're going to go ahead and make sure that our meeting settings are set up appropriately. So go ahead and toggle to your left-hand screen and click on the settings function. This is going to allow you to set up the, the audio, video, and other settings that you're going to need in order to make your online alpha as successful as possible. To get started, you'll want to make sure that both your host and participant videos are enabled. This will make sure that anyone joining the call is able to join you via video, not just audio. Your audio type should be selected to offer both telephone and computer audio. This allows for anyone who may not have computer audio to be able to dial in and still participate fully in the call. You will want to make sure that join before host is selected so that guests and teammates who might be on the call before you are able to join don't get stuck wondering if the meeting has already started or if they're supposed to be somewhere else. We would recommend considering muting participants upon entry so that nothing embarrassing happens if they weren't quite ready for their audio to go live. You as the host or your participant or teammate should be able to unmute themselves at any point in time to participate in discussion. Under in-meeting basics, we recommend that you do go ahead and select for chat to be an option. This will allow participants and hosts and helpers or other teammates to be able to participate in conversation, make comments, ask questions throughout discussion time or during the video. Private chat is another option that allows, allows for participants or team members to be able to chat with one another privately so that not everyone sees it and also provides an option for those attending your alpha who might not be ready to speak up in the larger group setting to go ahead and message you as the host or their group leader um, individually. You will want to make sure that screen sharing is enabled and that you have the host only available as the person to screen share. This will make sure that you are able to share both your audio and your video during the time to show the video. Under in-meeting advanced, you will want to make sure that breakout rooms are enabled. If you're gathering as a large alpha group, this will allow you to assign guests and hosts and helpers to appropriate breakout rooms so that they can continue discussion after the video in their established small groups. Let's go ahead and schedule our meeting. If I click schedule meeting, I can get back to the top and click meetings. Click on schedule a new meeting in order to create your alpha gathering. We would recommend naming your meeting something that identifies what alpha it is. So I'm going to call mine Wednesday night alpha. I'm going to set the time when we're going to begin meeting as well as the, the time that we will be gathering, which will be seven o'clock p.m. You'll want to make sure that you also set the duration of your meeting, which we recommend not to exceed one and a half hours. This ensures that you keep the maximum attention span of your audience. Finally, make sure that you've chosen the appropriate time zone for your meeting. I'm in central time, so that's fine. But if you click the down arrow, you'll be able to select the correct time zone. Go ahead and opt for this to be a recurring meeting that happens weekly. Then you can set an end date by the actual date or by the number of occurrences that you have. We'll be meeting for 10 weeks, so I'm going to go ahead and set mine for 10 weeks. We recommend not requiring registration or a meeting password just to make it a little easier for your team and guests to join the call. Make sure that your host and participant videos are on and that audio is set to, to allow for both telephone and computer. Go ahead and make sure that you've enabled joining before the host and mute participants upon entry. Then click save. Now our meeting is created and we need to be able to communicate to our team and our guests the appropriate information so that they'll be able to join us. You can do that by either using one of the calendaring functions available 
copying the URL and manually emailing it to your guests and your team, copying the full invitation, which actually gives you a list of every time you'll be gathering, as well as the audio information to join the call and manually sending that to your team, or by clicking start this meeting, which will actually momentarily start your Zoom meeting and allow you to invite people by email directly into the meeting. By clicking invite, you'll be able to utilize this email tab, which then you can select the email service that you, that you wish, select the appropriate one, enter the email addresses of your team and your guests, and you're all set. They will be communicated with and will receive an invitation to join you for Zoom during the appropriate time. Please find our additional video on how to maximize and optimize all of these settings appropriately for your online Zoom meeting.